Guess where we are? I'm giving you a big hint on the screen. It's also the most magical place on earth. But we are gonna head in pretty quickly because there's rain. I was uh, waiting a little bit to see if this would pass, but I just checked the app really quick before we went live and it looks like it's going to be in a drizzle rain state for the next 60 minutes, which is good and bad. It's not the best for live streaming with our gimbal and camera exposed, but it does mean that it's gonna end at 8.30, which is the scheduled time for the happily ever after fireworks, which means those should not be postponed or canceled, which is good news. So we will be hanging out to watch the fireworks tonight, which is very exciting. You can see this is what we're doing tonight. With the time change in our daylight savings time, it's still light out. It's 7.35 right now. And you can see we uh, still have this beautiful golden hour. I mean, a little cloudy because this rainstorm that's coming in, but the rain is chasing me on the way in. It's behind us. So hopefully we'll avoid most of it. But I'm thinking for the first, until fireworks, we'll try to spend some time on either some attractions or looking at things that are indoors. Just a light drizzle right now, but look at these views. Are you kidding me? I also want to watch Happily Ever After, if possible. We'll see, I'm gonna try and make it work from a new location today. So you gotta stick around. But if you do me a big favor, here we are at the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World here in Orlando, Florida. It's about 80 degrees right now, so the rain will cool things down, but it's a nice 80. These little droplets falling on my arms right now feel good. But as I was saying, if you could hit the like button, that really does help. And if you're brand new, please subscribe. We are on our way to 9,000, but the real goal is we gotta hit 10K as fast as possible. When we hit 9,000 subs, we are going nine hours straight. And when we hit 10, hour, 10 hours, when we hit 10,000, we are doing 24 straight hours at Walt Disney World, uninterrupted, no sleep, and all activity. It's not like we're gonna like put the camera on us while we take a nap. Nope. We are going 24 hours at Walt Disney World of nonstop action. I think we're gonna have to break it into a few streams because YouTube won't let you run for 24 straight hours, but we will be live nonstop. You know, if we have to end and restart a new stream. So let's hit that 10,000. I wanna do it. I'm excited to do it. Tell a friend. If they're into Disney and theme parks and Universal and SeaWorld, a lot of Orlando stuff, but also just travel adventures and my crazy life. We got a, a bunch of trips coming up. All that fun stuff's here on the channel. We like to say it's all family friendly. Every once in a while, someone might drop a word here and there, but not us. But for the most part, family friendly, good times, positive energy. And that continues on in our other things like our discord we're over 300 people strong there everyone's positive kind nice supportive so if you're not in the discord go check that out that's free you could use that from your phone your computer i recommend using your real name or your youtube name so we know who you are we have an amazing patreon community patreon.com backslash adventures by carney or just search adventures by carney on patreon they are the people who keep the channel going without them i don't know if there would be an adventures by carney so thank you and big shout out to all of the Patreons for making the magic happen for all of us. Tonight, as I just mentioned, we are gonna be checking out Happily Ever After Fireworks, but also we're gonna do some rides. We're gonna hang out around the kingdom. Besides this one hour of rain, which we started, you know, that's hopefully just 7.30 to 8.30. It should be a nice night after that. You can see everyone staging now. So if you're here and you want to get a good spot for fireworks, you can see this is an hour before fireworks and people are already seated to the left and right of the road. You want to make sure you get a good spot. I always recommend if you're looking for the best spot and you want to see the castle projections and the fireworks is you want to be right between the statue, which is here 
and kind of where Main Street starts. It's right on that hump. So if you go to the end of the circle and you go up, there is a little bit of a hump. Like it goes like this. You hit that peak, you'll have perfect view of, oh, I'll have to make the announcement. So there's no bad spots. You can see the fireworks anywhere in the Magic Kingdom. But if you want to see the projections which match up with the fireworks, Oh, Main Street USA nearing capacity and starts in 50 minutes. Now, here's what I'm hoping. We're going to go on an attraction, sit around, and oh, I don't want it to, but if it does, maybe it scares some people not to watch some of that empties out. Maybe we'll get a good spot, but I have an idea for a new spot I want to watch it from. We'll see if we get lucky. If you're doing the fireworks dessert party, it's right here in Tomorrowland. You can see it. It includes your desserts, but also your alcohol and a guaranteed spot, including a covered spot if you wish to stay there or you can go out to the lawn. How's it going? So you can go out to the lawn or you can stay underneath there. They pop in the, you know, you obviously hear the music and you can uh, be hiding if it's raining like tonight. The ducks are going to hide. You can see some of the rain hitting the water. It's going to be okay. Just keep swimming. We're gonna catch up with the chat in a minute. If you wanna say hi, you have any questions, comments, or just wanna shout out, jump in the chat. I'm gonna catch up with that in about two minutes as soon as we stop at our first destination. I looked it up right before we went live. Everything's, I mean, I guess it's a busy night. It is spring break here in Florida. I know it's not in a lot of other places around the country. So probably I'm guessing a local crowd since Florida schools are up. It wasn't that busy the other day when I was looking, but today was been busy all day. And uh, the only rides under 15 minutes were Carousel of Progress and People Mover. So I'm hoping the People Mover is still 15 minutes or less. So we can start with the People Mover, catch up on some chat, see what's going on. If you missed our stream last night, Lauren and I went over to Disney's Art of Animation Resort, gave a little tour there, that was a lot of fun. Since schools are closed, Lauren's on spring break, but she still wakes up every day at four to go to the gym so she, can show, <laughs> so she can work out with her group, her crew. So she still goes to bed early at like eight. I think she gets in bed by eight. Usually she's asleep by 8.15, 8.30. I wanted her to come tonight. I was like, hey, you're on spring break. We never get to see fireworks together. We haven't watched Happily Ever After forever. And she was on the fence, but uh, she just was too exhausted. She had a long day. Should a pool day with some friends. All right, this doesn't look too long. We can, this is manageable. We'll do some people mover to kick the stream off here. If you're just joining us, we're here at the Magic Kingdom, please hit that like button. It really does help. We're trying to hit 100 as soon as possible. Let's say hi to some people. Hello, Suzanne, what's going on? Hi, Heidi. Andrew C. Boston Drew, what's up? Heidi, thanks for having notifications on. She said my notification came early tonight. And if you want notif notifications, you want to find out when we're going live. Today, you know, we only had about an hour's notice because it was a long day at work. I wanted to make sure I could definitely go live. But get notified. Hit that bell. Hit all notifications if you're subscribed. Whether you're a new subscriber or an existing one, get that bell on. Hello, she, uh, what do we got here? We got, oh, Shelly's here. Katie McGinnis, Seabock Co., Captain Kirk. What's happening? Queen Colleen in the house. Izzo is here. Happy birthday to Izzo. It's Izzo's birthday. Happy birthday, Izzo. Also, it's Teresa's birthday. Happy birthday to Teresa. T3, the Tomorrowland Traveler in the house. Mr. Dave, what's up? Says, people move over in your future? How did you know? Izzo says, hit the like button for my main man, Pete. Oh, thanks, Izzo. That's the birthday boy. So I'd have to, I'd say listen to the birthday boy. Izzo says, I'm going to make sure I'm there for the 24-hour madness. That's for sure. But we got to hit 10,000 subscribers. So let's go. We're so close. Kelsey, what's going on? Good evening. Colleen, post the links in the chat if you want it for the Discord, the Instagram. My Instagram is at official carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. 
the TikTok is Adventures by Carney, the Discord is Adventures by Carney, the website is adventuresbycarney.fun, and we have a meetup coming up in April. It is free, you just gotta pay for the things you wanna do that cost money, but if you wanna hang out with us in the parks, or Disney Springs, or at our barbecues, or at events, the whole schedule's on the website. There's a sign-up form on the website if you wanna just let us know you're gonna be here, and your schedule. Thanks again to Colleen for posting links to everything, the Patreon, all the socials, all links right here in the chat, and also uh, linked down below in the description for this video. Shout out to not only Captain Kirk, but Lady Kirk is here. The whole Kirk clan is in the house. It says, happy spring break. Well, it's Lauren's spring break. This is, uh, I've been working this week. Azo had another revolution around the sun. I love it. Captain Kirk said lots of fun facts yesterday. Thank you. I love fun facts. Izzo wants unfun facts. All right, we're going to tell some serious facts tonight. You want some serious facts? You know that only two of the four theme parks are running solar panels? Which means two are not. That is an unfun fact. <laughs> no, we're a glass half full here on this channel. Pretty amazing, right? I mean, these parks never close. They're open 24-7, 365, unless there's a global pandemic. And... Uh, even with everything operating all day and all night, and even when the people are gone, you're wondering like, Pete, they're still open? They gotta do all their painting, all their repairs, all the little work behind the scenes, cleaning the floors and washing, cleaning, painting, you know, fixing, polishing, all that happens while we are asleep. If you sleep, some nights I don't, but. So these are 24 seven operation, 365, and thanks to our beautiful sun in the sky, two out of the four of these, imagine the electric bill for the Magic Kingdom. Andy Van Dyke in the house, what's up Andy? We might be having some videos from Washington in April if I get out to see Andy, we're gonna try and make that work. We tried to make that work today. We're hoping flight prices come down a little bit. So I can go hang out with Andy and Annette before they move back to Orlando, and then you'll see more of them on the channel. Brandy says, Pete, are you parked at the Contempt? Can you scope the grills for us? I parked somewhere, but I can check out the grills. I will check out the grills tonight for sure. The reason Brandy is asking is because if you're coming to our meetup in April, we're doing a fireworks cruise Friday night uh, we have two boats reserved right now, and I think that's just enough for everybody, but we can maybe fit one or two. So if you want to come or if we should rent or uh, reserve more boats for the fireworks cruise, let us know. Make sure you're signing up or we're, uh, you can talk to us on the Discord. We have a meetup section. We also have it, like I said, on our website. If you want to do some of the things with us, they're starting to fill up. So like I said, I think both boats are almost full. One or two people can fit on that second boat for the fireworks cruise. What we're thinking is before the fireworks cruise is doing a family kind of barbecue uh, since we're taking off from the Contemporary, either at Bay Lake Tower or the Contemporary using the barbecue grills that are there and kind of just doing a family barbecue. I'll bring a bunch of stuff uh, for those who, you know, are here on vacation. You can't go to the supermarket, but I can. And uh, we have a bunch of people who have already volunteered to grill. We're gonna have like a, a ridiculous grill off, it sounds like, but we'll have a bunch of food. We'll have some drinks as long as some soft drinks as well and some waters and uh, do a little barbecue, some pre-gaming before our fireworks cruise out on Bay Lake and the Seven Seas Lagoon before they park the boat right in front of the Magic Kingdom, pumping the music and we watch Happily Ever After together. One big happy family. Astro Orbiter, Captain Kirsten, I love the Astro Orbiter. I think it looks cool. I just, I've only done it once ever in my life. Um, Rides that go in a circle are not my thing, but I know a lot of people enjoy them. And with that, I'm all caught up in the chat. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, want to say hi, want to shout out, jump in the chat now. And if you haven't hit the like button yet, what are you waiting for? Now is the time. If everybody hits it right now, we could probably get right at 100. And that's when the magic happens. YouTube, for some reason, gives us extra love when we hit 100 likes. And it's true. I, watch, I have the data to back it up. Who says data? Who says data?
Adam says Astro or Orbiter. <laughs> Astro Orbiter. Wow. Words. Uh, is underrated. Misty, what's up? Says, hey, Pete, the chat. What's going on, Misty? Hi, Allison. Says, one week until we're at Disney World. That's so exciting, Allison. I am pumped for you. Adam getting, uh, people are agree with that the Astro Orbiter is underrated. <laughs> Andy called it the Twirl and Hurl, which is technically the name of the ride over at Universal. Andrew, uh, I sent you a pick of the headbands. Yes, that's right. We have headbands coming out. Andrew uh, was on that project. I know we have a lot of runners who are doing the arm week. <laughs> I'm going to really work on speaking tonight. Uh, and just, you know, in English, the proper way. Uh, our weekend meetup in April is the same weekend as the Run Disney uh, race weekend. And Andrew, and I love this, got some really cool custom Adventure by Carney headbands made. And I love it because, one, not only can I do I need them when I do the race weekends, I love them for the gym, but also just Disney in the summer is so hot. And they're the, like, from what it looks like in the picture, it's like the really one, the ones I like. Those thinner ones, but like they're wider for the forehead, like Raphael Nadal kind of odd, uh, if you know tennis. But you could put them under a hat too. So like you could do like them tight around your head and then the hat over it. I don't know. I'm excited about it. Thanks again to uh, Andrew for making that happen. Chris says, want to try Space Mountain tonight? We'll see. We'll see if we have time. I also, I want to make sure we definitely see fireworks. Uh, so I figure we'll do the people mover now. We'll get off. We'll do it. Maybe we'll walk around a little bit um, and head towards where I want to watch fireworks from. But we'll see what happens. Space is tough because we sometimes lose service in the line for space. So if we don't have a lightning lane, uh, it, it's sometimes a stream killer. We also have an unhappy customer. They don't know the rule. No crying at Disney. Astro over the line. It's not crazy. You got to take the elevator up. In case you missed it, People Mover was always presented by Alamo for years. Always had that Alamo sign right underneath. Now it is Enterprise, who also sponsors Tron. They also provide the vehicles for the parades. So I'm pretty sure they are the official rental car company of Walt Disney World. Hi, Erica. Says, I'm in live with the People Mover too. Hi. Erica's around here somewhere. Hi, Erica. Thanks. Welcome aboard. I love a moving walkway. Tyler Silva, what's up? Pete Stummy in the house. Good evening, everyone. Excited to watch fireworks. It's been a minute. I agree. We haven't done a fireworks stream here in a little bit. I was going to do one a few weeks ago, but the Tomorrowland Traveler, which is another great uh, follow here on YouTube, he had just done them the night before, and I was like, you know what? Let me go somewhere else. We've done Epcot fireworks a lot recently. We did Fantasmic pretty recently, so I thought it was time. Look at Tron uh, kind of freaking out over there. But it's been a while since we did Happily Ever After, so I thought tonight would be the perfect night to do it. Hello, C-A-N. Says, hi, everyone. It's Nicole. Just wanted to say hi real quick. What's up, Nicole? Thanks for saying hi. Hope everyone's having a great week. Happy Wednesday. You're halfway there if you work a traditional work week. I'm realizing right now I left my water bottle in the car. I'm getting a bit parched. These are the stairs that take you up to Astro Orbiter in case you have to get uh, evac. I think this is going to be my car, the lead car. 
Thanks so much. Oh, just for me? How nice. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Pete Carney from Adventures by Carney. Thanks for being here on your Wednesday night with me. I am excited to be here at the Magic Kingdom. Right now, we're underneath. The nice part about the People Mover, it's completely covered. So there's a little bit of a drizzle going on. That rain should stop by 8.30, according to the radar and the other weather app I have. So both apps show that it should end around 8.30, which is perfect. The fireworks are supposed to start at 8.30. It's also nice that we're starting fireworks a little bit earlier. I know some people here go to bed a little early. Uh, now with daylight savings, that time starts to creep back in the next few months. Uh, it'll be like 8.45, then 9, then 9.15. Because the sun stays out late here in Florida. I mean, it's still setting right now. You can see the sky is still light blue in the background. Uh, getting darker by the minute, but but if you do me a big favor, please hit that like button. We're so close. We're closing it on 100. We just need another 30 likes. And I see we have 70 people watching so far. That will go way up with the more likes. So let's work together. Let's spread the magic. Let's try to get 100 for the fireworks because everyone needs some fireworks tonight. Who doesn't need fireworks in their life? I do. That's why I moved to Florida. <laughs> And if you haven't subscribed, it would mean the world to me. Give it a shot. Give it a try. <gasps> Here we go. Let's do this. This is the TTA Blue Line. I like having no one in front of us. Ooh. Greetings, intergalactic <laughs> Izzo calls it the Peter Mover. Izzo also has an awesome uh, YouTube channel. Go give that a follow. It's his birthday. Izzo's place on YouTube. We support everybody here. And I like it. Those are my people. Joe Cardillo says, hello. Hi, everyone. Great to see you, Joe. Mark Mueller is here. Good evening, Mark. Up. You can see a little bit of sun left. And it's about eight o'clock here in Orlando. The next station. We are at the Magic Kingdom in Orlando, Florida, at Walt Disney World. It's a beautiful day today. The weather is really heating up. Look at that shot right there. Oh, into the unknown. Izzo says, I'm late on a tool review and got some whiskey content coming up. There you go. If you guys are into tools and whiskey, Izzo's place on YouTube. Ah, uh, the Epcot that never was. And this area always reminds me of an old school laser tag place by my house in New York. Cross Galaxy Express. On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except that stars. Those are the ones. Smile. <laughs> now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway. Oh, snap. The cars are getting ready. What else? What do you think people think out there? Let me know. Do you like the scent of the gasoline or do you think they should go electric like a lot of the other things? This is the Tomorrowland Speedway. All right, let's get right into the action. They're on their warm-up lap. Here we go, coming around the corner. Tron and I does look super cool. If you're able to pick what time you want to do it or if you're trying to plan for it, I would say do it at night. I think it's a little more thrilling and exciting at night, but it's a fun ride either way. But just keep in mind, from start to finish, the ride is one minute. So if there's a super long wait, it is a 60-second ride. As opposed to Guardians, which is over three minutes. Which is why in my roller coaster rankings, Guardians is above Tron. Oh, here we go. Into the darkness. If for any reason we lose service, please hit refresh. We're not going anywhere. We got fireworks to watch. What's up, Helder? Thank you. 
I guess I should do an update for those who are wondering. And I get asked, uh, thank you, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who sent positive vibes uh, and prayers for my nephew, my little 11 and a half month nephew is having some health stuff going on and uh, was rushed to the hospital last week, uh, has been in the ICU, uh, but I can report doing much better every day. They did some testing uh, today. Didn't go great, but it's not bad. It just means he just needs more time to heal. So he'll be in the ICU for a little bit, but his overall health has gotten so much better. And I really think it's thanks to all of your prayers and positive vibes that you have all sent. So thank you to all of you. Uh, the family, my family is so excited to watch him get better every day and heal. And we had a bit of a scare, but things are definitely uh, tracking in the right direction. So I'm so grateful, so thankful. Really, it, you are all fantastic. I'm so lucky to be a part of this community. It takes a village. Right now we are inside of Space Mountain. You can hear and kind of see some of the lights going on. No screams. Normally you hear a little scream or two, but it's a quiet night in space. If you ever want to see Space Now with the lights on, when it's down, jump on the people mover and uh, you'll get a chance to see Space Now with the lights on. Sometimes it comes back up pretty quickly, so you won't always, it's not a guarantee, but it's a cool little thing to do if you ever see Space Now and is closed for, you know, for a little downtime. Hop on the people mover. Thank you, Mr. Morrow. Typically, Mr. though, Morrow. it's not Please the shortest way because if you can't go on space, everybody who wanted to go on Space Now usually gets in line for other attractions at Tomorrowland, but Thank it's still fun. Good night, Nicole. Thanks for stopping in, hitting the like button. Thanks to everybody who's uh, subscribed. T3, what's up? Daniel, we were just talking about you. The Tomorrowland Traveler, another great YouTube channel. Here they come, a nighttime race tonight. No headlights on, someone pull them over. What if they hit someone? Don't bump anyone, it's not allowed. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. The sun's still setting. We get so much light, look at that sky. So all this dark cloud is rain. That's the pretty sky we walked in with. To your right is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony. Space Mountain right now, 60 minute wait. Sweet, sassy, molassy. You got a Joffrey's. Every park has a main Starbucks location, and then they have other coffee stops, which are usually Joffrey's. Joffrey's also makes the custom blends for Disney. And they also have a shop over at Disney Springs where you can purchase almost all the different varietals of the, if you want to take home a bag of beans, you know, you're looking for a bag of beans? You head over there and you can buy the different flavors, the different blends for the uh, different park coffees because they have an Animal Kingdom one. They have, it's very neat. I have a fancy coffee machine that I never use at my place, but if I did use it, I would be uh, getting my beans from here. Joseph says, I like Joffrey's over Starbucks. Well, there you go. Hey, Art Glover, what's up? If we lose service for any reason, refresh. All right, here's your tip for Buzz. See the spinning right here? The spinning Z's on top in this room right there. That's what you want to hit. Big points. Big, big points. <laughs> Mark Mueller in space. No one can hear you scream unless it's Space Mountain. Facts. Bum, 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 now approaching Monsters Incorporated. Look at that. Mike Wazowski has brought in some real monsters of comedy. Whether you have one eye or nine, take the time to see this show. Now approaching tomorrow. I love the Monster Inc. Laugh Floor. If you've never done it, it's totally worth it. Get a little laugh.
Everybody refresh, refresh. Like I said, if we ever lose service, please just hit refresh. Or if the screen's ever fuzzy, please let me know. I would always say anything goes wrong with the stream, whether it's not responding or it's a little fuzzy uh, or you get a spinning wheel, just let me know in the chat. But always refresh first. Make sure it's not on your end. If it's on my end, I will try to fix it as fast as possible. I wonder what that blinking white light means. I have never seen that blinking white light on at night. Maybe I've just never noticed it, but I mean, I'm pretty observer when it comes to those things. Huh. Chris was just at Disney on Monday. That's awesome. We are back, everyone. Always refresh. We're not going anywhere. And if you're just joining us, please hit that like button. We're only 20 likes away from 100. Trying to hit 100 before the fireworks, so we got about 18 minutes. Let's try and get a like a minute. Let's go. We can do it. I'm keeping the faith. By the way, thanks to Piano Rob, my buddy, I learned a fun fact. I'm a big Billy Joel fan, and I'm not sure if anyone's heard, but the hilarious comedian Richard Lewis, uh... Most recently, you've probably seen him on Curb Your Enthusiasm, but I mean, he's been around for decades. Uh, sadly, passed away recently, but there's a Billy Joel song. Have you ever uh, listened to it? Uh, got a call from an old friend. We used to be real close. Uh, said he couldn't go on the American way. Da -da 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 -da. And anyway, um, then he heads out to the West Coast. And he gives up a stand-up routine in L.A. It's about Richard Lewis. I didn't know Billy Joel and Richard Lewis, Richard Lewis were friends. And I did not know that that lyric is referring to Richard Lewis. Crazy. Fun facts. Not only Disney fun facts tonight. Billy Joel and Richard Lewis fun facts. But anyway, I learned that thanks to Piano Rap. So thanks, Piano Rap. We are now in fantasy land. The landscape is changing. We're gonna head into Storybook Circus. Let me clean this lens quick. There we go, it's a little bit better. What's fun about Walt Disney World is we have not one, but two Dumbo rides. Which does tend to speed things up. And another fun little thing about the Dumbo rides is inside the big top behind the Dumbo rides. If you go into the queue, is an indoor play area, which is great again for the rain or on a hot day to get some AC, or if you're cold and will be warm. Obviously different times of years I'm referring to here. Since we're just coming out of our quote unquote cold season, this was the coldest winter we've had since in the last four and a half years we've lived here. If you're new to me and the channel, I am from New York. I grew up on Long Island. We moved down here in the summer of 2019. So we five years this summer. Here's Dumbo. Another cool thing about Dumbo, if you look at the ground, while you're queuing up and getting into line, there's peanuts stuck in the concrete from Dumbo. Isn't that fun? There's Timothy Mouse. But this big top, first of all, there's a picture spot where you can pick a picture with the ride, which is fun. A little staircase for the family. One side is for the lightning lanes, one side for standby. But inside this big top, both lines go inside the big top and back out. There is that play place I was talking about. And it's got chargers, it's got everything you need if you want to take a little break. And you have, I'd say, especially if you have little, little ones, nice little play place, let them run around. You can sit down, take a drink of water, charge your devices, get a little break out of the sun and the heat since we are coming into the hotter months here. Here's the Casey Jr. splash pad. This gets a lot of action this summer. It's like I said, right now, it's already over 80 degrees the last few days. It was 87 two or three days ago. So it's already heating up here in mid-March. So this splash pad will get a lot more up. This, <laughs> this guy's running right through it. I always like to give fun facts about these trains. There's the numbers on the cars 
actually have meaning. For instance, this 89 refers to, here on the giraffes, the year Animal, um, not Animal Kingdom, the year uh, Hollywood Studios opened up, May 1st, 1989. Over here, 82 on the clowns, the year was Epcot. October 1st, 1982, Epcot opened. Try to avoid this water. Right here at the Elephants, 1971, that was this park, the Magic Kingdom, October 1st, 1971. And the camels, watch out for the water. Should have a 98 on it because Animal Kingdom opened Earth Day, 1998, and there it is, 1998. Then if you go up towards uh, this other tent, there is another train car kind of parked up there and it has a 55 on it. That being the year Disneyland in California opened. Barnstormer, only 20 minutes. That's not bad at all. Looks even less than that right now. I'd say, yeah, probably like 15 minutes. Why is the train closed? Oh, that's sad. Well, while we're back here, I'm gonna trust some people. I'm gonna run, we call the restrooms the opera. It's just nicer to say than the restroom. Uh, it's just fun. Headed to the opera. So I'm gonna head to the opera really quick. And uh, I'll be right back. I'll let you enjoy some of Fantasyland. But if anyone steals you, just take a picture or a screenshot. I'll be right back. Hit the like button, share the stream, talk to your friends. I'll be right back. All right, we're back, baby. Well, I was gonna take a little train ride back to Main Street for the fireworks, but the train is not operational. So let's go for a little walk. We're only 12 likes away from 100. We could do this, totally do this one for fireworks. Let's go. Rebecca Dolan, what's going on? Good evening. The Big John is here. Siva Co. Souvenirs are closed as well. Big Top Souvenirs. What's happening tonight? I mean, it's literally it's quarter after eight. It's crazy. It is going to be crazy trying to walk down Main Street. They were saying Main Street was almost at capacity at 7.30. So let's see if we can make some magic happen. So I will confess to you, I have my favorite spot. We watch the fireworks here. Whenever we've done the fireworks, I try to get you the best possible spot or some creative things. Sometimes I think we've done it up in the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. But most of the time I like to get, it's about 60 yards away from the statue facing the castle right on that bridge. If you go around the hub, the circle around the statue, go between that circle and Main Street, I think it's the best viewing spot. If you want to see the projections, sync up with the fireworks and be able to see the fireworks. But I have never in person 
have gone farther, farther back since they started the Main Street USA projections. For those who don't know, when they initially did the show, it was fantastic, it was amazing, everything was great. They brought it back, they tried another show, everybody was like, come on, give us Happily Ever After, we love it. So they brought it back. Then they did a little upgrade where they added the Main Street projections to match the show as well and do some fun things uh, on the different storefronts. So I've never gone down Main Street USA, so we're gonna try and watch it from a little bit further back today so we can see the Main Street projections and the fireworks. We might not be able to see the castle as clear, but I really wanna check out those projections on Main Street and we'll still see those fireworks for sure. And most of the projections you will see, just not the really small intricacies that are incredible. And I guess it's the more times I watch it, I catch more things and it's remarkable. If you're not sure what I mean when I say the projections match the fireworks, is that certain things happen on the castle which will trigger or like, which will uh, work in sync with the fireworks. For instance, uh, Merida from Brave shoots an arrow. And when she shoots that arrow, uh, which is, you know, when she's on the castle doing this, a arrow shoots out, which in, in firework form, up towards the air into another firework, which is a target, which is super neat. And other little things like that that happen on the castle work together in conjunction with the fireworks. Also, depending on what the theme is, like, so during, like, the Toy Story section, there'll be the Toy Story blocks up in the sky. During the Moana section, there'll be that Moana logo, the swirly twirls that inter like, intertwine with each other. Those are in firework form in the sky. So it's pretty neat. It's a really amazing firework show. Everyone I've taken to see it, even the Disney haters are like, wow, this is uh, legit. My buddy's FDNY, and he's worked all like the Macy's <laughs> fireworks, a bunch of different New Year's Eve at Times Square, any kind of fireworks or things involving pyro in the city, he's a big part of. He's up there in the FDNY. And uh, when I took him and his family down here, he's like, how, how, he's like, come on, it's not Macy's. And I was like, it's better. He's like, you're really setting the bar too high. I'm like, I'm telling you, watch the show, the music, the projections, the fireworks, the actual pyro themselves, the effects, the smoke, the flames, and then look at your kids' faces. And he, and yeah, he was, he was like, you're totally right. It's the best fireworks show I've ever seen in my life. So if you're here, I would say, I know you want to do as many rides as possible, but get a good spot or someone in your reserve a spot, but it gets crazy. You can't reserve too much real estate because people will start pushing and falling in and sadly problems do start. So remember to be friendly. Everyone's having the same issue. Everyone wants to see the fireworks. A lot of people's first time. Everyone paid a lot of money to be here. So uh, just be patient with others. You'll see the stripe on the floor they put down for fireworks. You have to keep the walkways clear as well. And they will force you out of there. Look, they changed the 50 in his mouth. There you go. We were wondering what they were gonna do there. We're gonna cut through. So this is where the dessert party is. We were showing you this earlier. The dessert party is an additional charge, but you do get obviously the desserts. You get alcohol. If you're into that, soft drinks, water, and a great spot for watching fireworks, whether it's underneath here or a reserved viewing area outside. But yeah, they have wine, beers, lots of desserts. So if you do have only one night to see this show and it uh, you know, means a lot to you and you want a guaranteed spot, firework uh, dessert party might, might not be the worst thing, although it is an additional fee. But it is packed. We got about 10 minutes till showtime. We're gonna try and get a good spot. What we're gonna do is show you backstage because we're going to act like we're leaving and go behind the buildings here so main street's to our right and we'll pop back out at the end of main street and walk up instead of fighting the crowds the opposite direction so they use this backstage area if you haven't been back here for parties a lot like the halloween party and christmas party you might come up this way but also when it is packed like tonight and main street's already at capacity they'll use this to let people exit or if they're coming into the park let them work their way up main street without fighting that crowd
You may remember there was a plan at one point to put a larger theater on Main Street here. It was in those plans. See, they actually have a good spot. They're showing you, I was talking about those marks on the ground. So that's technically an approved spot where you could watch. So even watching from here isn't terrible. You don't get the projections on Main Street, but you can see the castle perfectly and you'll be able to see the fireworks. And this side of Main Street, the right side is actually better. The fireworks are off to the left side of the castle. They still look like they're behind it if you're on Main Street, but if you're on the left side of Main Street or over in like Liberty Square, Tomorrowland, uh, not Tomorrowland, uh, Adventureland, Frontierland, uh, the fireworks won't be directly behind the castle, whereas opposed to if you're on the right side, they'll still kind of look like they're behind the castle here. This might not be a bad spot to watch if the other spot I'm thinking about is already full. I'm thinking about going up to the train station so I can get all the projections on the castle, be elevated above the crowd, still get the music and watch the fireworks. We'll see. We'll try the train station. It might be full already, but again, for fireworks, you want to get a spot early. I would say at least 45 minutes ahead of time. Now, if you've seen one million times, you want to try different angles and spots, that's fine. Yeah, wow, look at the train station viewing. It might, I mean, we might still be able to get a good, decent spot. We'll just take a look. Worst case, we'll come back down and maybe we'll do that little spot from the side because, I mean, I do want to see the main street light up. We'll see. We'll take a little look, see. Either way, we're watching fireworks. You know I'm going to get you a good spot. I have all the creative, where do you get creative? Also, don't always bank on this being open. Sometimes they close this for filming. Let's see, all right, quite the crowd up here right now. This isn't terrible if we're like right here. Yeah, this isn't bad, because I want to see Main Street. I want to see some of the castle, and the fireworks are going to be way above the buildings. This might not be bad. And once it starts, I'm sure we'll fill in all that space so we can maybe move a little bit over to the left. I think this is going to be a keeper. What's going on, Bobby? Dawn says spring break and they have stuff closed early. Yeah, it's wild, right? Hi, Dawn. Kevin McKeever, what's up? Says, I agree, it's a great show. It's great up close and great for mid Main Street. Yeah, I don't know. I, again, I don't. Up close is great too. I've watched it from everywhere up, up front. I like if you're a little further away, like between the circle and May in Casey's, like on the bridge. There's the high point on the road because it kind of goes up slowly and then back down. Thank you. You still see all the projections, but you're far enough back to so your neck is not looking straight up. Why is it back? It is spring break here in Florida. And also, there is no more slow seasons at Disney. Fireworks are always busy. This is the best fireworks show in Orlando, possibly all of the United States. Maybe even the world. Robert D says, well, you're near Tony's. Yeah, there's Tony's Town Square. Another great spot to hang out is on that balcony. Mini balcony. I mean, it's not really up in the air, but... I guess let's say it's a terrace. Pete says, I've never seen it from the station. Looks cool, Tracy says, yeah. I mean, I've seen other shows here, but I haven't seen it with the Main Street projection, so I'm excited. Yeah. My craziest story ever is before I lived here, so this is going back, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. But I came to the very last Halloween party on October 31st, and I was standing up here for those fireworks they ended in the park I guess it was another hour I went down I was kind of walking around Main Street and I came back up for the Kiskin night for those who don't know what that is if you stay in the park till when it closes they do a little sign off they call it the Kiskin night and I was hanging on I'm like man this is great and then the park was closing they were moving people out I was walking around looking at the shops and I was like man I have nowhere to be tomorrow I was here by myself I think Lauren had gone back to New York at that point and yeah I don't know I guess we're just hanging out up here 
and I realized the, the street started getting more empty and more empty. No one ever asked me to leave or I guess came up here. And all of a sudden, I realized there's nobody on Main Street. I'm like, this is so cool. I have all these amazing pictures, taking all this great picture and video. And then all of a sudden I see like pickup trucks roll out onto Main Street. I'm like, what is happening? And they literally started to break down the Halloween decorations and start putting up the Christmas decorations right in front of my eyes. I'm like, this is incredible. But I didn't want to stand right here on the rail like this because then I'm literally like, <laughs> you see my big red face and they're like what are you doing here parks closed so i kind of just sat back on these benches and uh kind of kept my, my head below sight lines and i got to watch it for like i don't know 20 minutes or so before someone came up and was like hey parks closed you gotta get out of here and i was like oh okay i'm so sorry and then uh it was nice too because i was like oh are there any more buses and they were like i think we stopped with the buses but they called me my own bus picks me up took me back to my resort but that was my crazy fun story from i don't think you can still do that but that was uh, like i said about seven or eight years ago pre-pandemic days. Yeah, Brandy, I saw that video. Miami is not allowing spring breakers this year, so a lot of folks stopped in Orlando instead of going further south, yeah. Miami Beach is shut down for spring break. Thanks everybody who's hit the like button. We just hit 100, that's amazing. If you haven't hit it yet, please keep hitting that like button. But I uh, love it. We're at 100 likes before fireworks. That was the goal. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. We're here at the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Happily Ever After starts in about two minutes. And if it's your first time watching, or if you've watched a few times and you're thinking about subscribing, please give it a shot. Consider subscribing. And when you subscribe, I highly recommend just trying. Hit that bell off to the side and hit all notifications. That way you never miss a live stream. Sometimes we just pop on and go live and you'll get notified to say, hey, Pete's going live. You don't have to go do anything, but you'll just get a little update. It's the move, totally the move.
There they are. This is the song that always gets me.
Gets me. And the crowd will cheer when they see my face. And the voice keeps saying, This is what. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> Such a good show. Oh, jeez. Well, if you enjoyed the fireworks, please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet. Come on, do it for the, the fireworks. Tried to get you a little view of Tink there as well. All right, so these crowds are going to be coming at us. So we're going to use that little entrance we used coming to the end of Main Street. If you're just joining us, we are here at the Magic Kingdom here on the East Coast, Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Roll. And we're going to use, so this area is normally closed during the day. We're going to do a little backstage action for all of you. 
because that main street is going to be packed. A lot of people hang till fireworks and leave. However, the Magic Kingdom is open past fireworks tonight. I believe they close at 11 p.m. They are extending hours, but it's weird. Some shops and attractions are closed. It is spring break here in Florida, so it's a little strange, but it's nice they extend the hours for those who want to get it all in. Or if you're park hopping, this is the park that's open the latest. Epcot closes at 9, Hollywood Studios closes at 9, and Animal Kingdom closed at 8 tonight. This is another great viewing spot right here. This tape on the floor shows where you can sit. So you get great views of the castle and fireworks from right here. If you're ever looking for a spot and Main Street is closed. So I wanted to get more of the projections on Main Street. We didn't really get them from the train station. I guess if you're like on Main Street, they'll be to your left and right. But still, what an amazing show. So beautiful, great music, great fireworks, great projections, great pyro, great smoke, great lasers. The lighting effects, everything was fantastic. Definitely the best fireworks. Hard to fight that it's not. But also, Luminous is growing on me, and I don't think I'll ever pass this, obviously, but I do like the Luminous, and that's the, those are the uh, new fireworks at Epcot. I obviously miss Illuminations the most, but it's my favorite Epcot fireworks since Illuminations. If you haven't seen it, I'd say it's a combination of if you liked Harmonious and you liked Illuminations, it's kind of if you sandwich them together. They tow the barges out on our last Epcot stream. We showed you with the bridge up when they tow the barges out. Look at these crowds. 50,000 people trying to exit. A little bit of a bottleneck here. We're going to go this way. Sorry. It's the only bit of a downside if you're watching the fireworks in the train station is uh, fighting the crowds that are trying to get to the exit. And there is only one exit here at the Magic Kingdom. It's outside, right at the end of Main Street, USA, as opposed to Epcot, which you can leave through the International Gateway or the front of the park. The International Gateway takes you to Disney's Boardwalk, Yacht and Beach, and the Skyliner, which connects you over to Hollywood Studios, Caribbean Beach, Riviera, Pop Century, and the Art of Animation, where we streamed live from yesterday. Of animation Resort here at Disney. For the reason we lose service, like we just did, I don't know what just happened there, but just hit refresh. We're not going anywhere for... I'm gonna try and cut across and see how it works. We could do it. I'm gonna show off my New York City walking skills. Normally, I don't know, but we, we could totally cut through this crowd. Dun, 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 dun. Just watch out a few ankle clippings, a couple of strollers are definitely gonna clip me, maybe an ECV, but we totally got this. Oh, yeah. I see a lane. I see a lane. Oh, snap. Look at this. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. Oh, yeah. We got an opening. There's Walt. So if you want the best spot, in my opinion, for Happily Ever After, you got to get there early. But see that fountain? If you're looking straight across Main Street USA, kind of in line with that fountain, maybe even a little closer to Main Street, that's the spot. But there's no bad spots. So like you'll be fine anywhere. Also depending on what you want to do after fireworks, like let's say you want to do Haunted Mansion with like no wait, you kind of wait, watch from the left side over here. As soon as that last beat hits of the show, make it towards Haunted Mansion, it'll be like, nobody's on the rides during, I mean, I shouldn't say nobody, but the, lides, the ride wait times go way down during the fireworks. So also if you've seen the show before, you could, uh, it's a great time to go on rides. We. Also love doing Seven Dwarfs Mine Train during fireworks. So, so much fun popping in and out of the mountain with fireworks going off. Swiss Family Treehouse is a cool spot. But 
let's go hit this bottleneck. Sorry, what? It's a game where I can't check it while streaming, but uh, what's our wait time? So, like, Haunted, Big Thunder, Pirates, Jungle, anything in Frontier or Adventureland have a low wait time? Or in the crazy case where Peter Pan or... It was busy. You could tell it's busy because even Small World had an hour wait at one point and 45 minutes when we got here. Shout out to D'Lo, joined during the fireworks. Shelly says, the type of crowd that makes my anxiety go way up. No, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I'm lucky where, like, crowds don't do that to me. I have plenty of other things and reasons for anxiety in my life. But but also, too, I think it's just living and coming from New York. Like, this is, like, every sidewalk. <laughs> and I used to work in this city all day long. Pirates is five minutes? All right, we're going to Pirates. Let's go. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for. Watch out now, me. All right, let's cut through over here. I think this is the move. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you're all good. Bump, bump, bump. Take our little walkway. By the way, these are my favorite picnic tables to eat your spring rolls on. We're going to pass the spring roll cart, my favorite food at the Magic Kingdom. Also, I put it in our Discord, but for any sportsmen out there, Jason Kelsey, brother of Travis Kelsey. He just retired from the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, an all-around good guy. His mom's an annual pass holder. They came down to Disney. He was talking about it on the podcast with his brother Travis. And uh, said, you know what I just discovered? The spring rolls of the Magic Kingdom. And they're amazing. And this is the spring roll cart right here. It's closed now. But open during the day. You get your spring rolls here. It's a pretty decent value. You get two of them. They have the cheeseburger spring roll and the pepperoni pizza spring roll. You can do two of one or mix it up. Do one of one. And they are the most delicious snack there is. They changed out the 50th on this and just covered it up. <laughs> oh, boo, you crazy little monkey. Anyway, get yourself some spring rolls. He said he could eat 18 of them. <laughs> Here we are in Adventureland. Do you feel the adventure? Thanks, everybody who's watching. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please help me out. If you haven't subscribed, that's the move. And if you want to see the fun in between the streams, and I also post reminders there too, my socials are pretty cool. Go check them out. My Instagram is at official carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. My TikTok is Adventures by Carney, just like the channel. Adventures by Carney is also our Discord. The link's down below in the description. Our website is adventuresbycarney.fun. And I would say the thing that matters the most is I got a few Patreons. Couldn't do it without them. Had a great Zoom call last week. We got another one on the books. Go check it out. Patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. I also want to take a minute, since we're thanking people who really have supported and helped the channel, is our newest sponsor, SJG3 Collectibles. An amazing company. They've been in business over 25 years. They have 100% positive feedback which is insane. They have uh, usually over 800 items. I checked today, I was just perusing their site, uh, their store, they have an eBay store. So you can search them on eBay, uh, SJG3 collectibles, or just go to ebay.com backslash STR backslash SJG3 collectibles. But anyway, I was on their site today, over 900 and I think it was 923 or 932. That number is sticking out in my head. But items today, and they list new items every day. And they got everything. We're talking pop culture, autographs, Disney, Universal, theme park stuff, um, collectible and special events, toys, comic books, wrestling, anything that is collectible they have. And if they don't have it, I recommend you shoot them a message. And uh, they've been in the business forever. Vince and his team are absolutely incredible. I got to talk to him on the phone today. He said it's been going really well. Uh, and it was the best decision he ever made sponsoring the channel. He said, I hope if you ever have anyone else who wants to sponsor, I will talk to them because uh, business is up and he's doing great. So thank you to everybody who is supporting SJG3 Collectibles. Uh, he actually just put on his Twitter, go check out the, their Twitter account. It's at SJG3COL. Uh, that he's gotten a bunch of business from Guam recently since we started doing the channel. So 
if we got people from Guam watching, thanks for supporting our sponsor. So yeah, go uh, check out SJG3 Collectibles. Vince is the man, 25 years in business, 100% positive feedback, and gifts for all price ranges. Like you're talking three or $4 up to, you know, the really cool, big, fancy stuff. All right, so they said it's a five minute wait. This doesn't look like five minutes, but let's time it. We're at its 84 minute mark for the stream. Let's see when we get on the ride. All right, let's go back and look at some chat while we wait in this alleged five minute line. The AC feels amazing. Woo, got a good sweat going against that crowd. It has been pretty warm here. If you're planning on coming down, the temperatures are heating up. It was 87 over the weekend. It was 82 today. Lauren had a pool day. It does smell like pirate water already. What's up, Helder? Like I said, Zelo in the house. Let me go back to fireworks. So I try not to talk during fireworks because it's just so magical. Again, happy birthday to my man Izzo and Teresa. You can go follow at Izzo's Place on YouTube. It's a great channel. It's his birthday today, so say happy birthday. Hi, Kevin. Hello, Smiling Politely. It says, Balcony of the Train Station is a great spot for the fireworks show, especially in the rain. I totally agree. That's why that was our plan for tonight. Yeah, the patio or the terrace uh, over at Tony's is a great place to hang out during the day and at night, watch people watching. Izzo said it's carnally ever after. Brandy says happily ever carny. I love it. He says, I love listening to the other people's reactions. Me too. And watching people like, it was really cute next to me to my right. And I try not to video people unless it's like quickly in passing or I had their permission or I know them. But uh, there was a nice mother like recording their child's reaction to the fireworks and it was super cute. I love like when the little kids like pull on their parents' shirts like, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Congratulations. 47 years married. That's amazing. Colleen says, I love Hunchback. Gets me every time. Yeah, Hunchback music is so great. And the, uh, whatchamacallit, Hercules gets me every time too. I appreciate D-Lo put in the chat. Everyone hit the like button. Thanks for encouraging everyone. We love a little friendly encouragement. We keep it fun. Keep it light. Colleen says, Hercules gets, me every, Hercules gets me every time, too. I love the song so much. Yeah, I tried to get Tinkerbell. It was a rough from our angle, but I wanted everyone to see it. Colleen says, Tink a cast member on a zipping or a projection? No, it's a real cast member on a zip line. Tinkerbell is real, Colleen. How dare you question? What am I saying? Tinkerbell obviously is a cast member. We're not ruining magic here. Tinkerbell does, uh, I believe... She was created and does work for the Walt Disney Company. Shelly said, oh, I almost made it without tearing up. It's almost impossible. It's so good. Captain Kirk says, Pete's right. I would put that show up against any other show. I, I really do think it's the best fireworks show. It says, it is the best. Smiling politely says, Tinkerbell is the highest paid cast member who also gets combat pay. Wow. And if they fly or not is their decision. Interesting. I didn't know that. Again, this is all coming from Smiling Politely. I don't know. I can't confirm that, but I would. it sounds reasonable. Yeah, that, that, that walk was uh, like salmon swimming upstream. Just keep swimming. We'll see if Pirates is truly five minutes. We, uh, it'd be, we'd be half the getting on the ride in the next 60 seconds. So I think they're going to be changing that sign any minute. Dawn says everything's over 30 minutes except for Pirates. Well, let's keep in mind, I believe Pirates still has the highest capacity, the highest put through. And for those who don't know, every ride has a rider rate per hour that they can move through. And I believe Pirates is the highest around, and I could be wrong, but if I'm remembering my facts correctly, and there's a lot up here in this crazy brain of mine, but I believe this is around 3,500 people an hour. 
which if you think about that too, it's pretty remarkable. When they designed these rides, and this was back in the 70s, <laughs> Dawn says, it's no wonder those Kelsey boys are raised right. <laughs> They're so nice. They were raised by a Disney nut. She's a pass holder. Mama Kells. Thank you, Colleen, for posting the Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok and Discord links in the chat. They're also down below in the description. Rebecca says, Pete, how many spring rolls could you eat in one sitting? Man, if I was hungry, like right now, I'm hungry. Um, it's too bad it's close because I would go challenge this. Uh, I feel like I could do... Without, like, discomfort, I could do 10 easily. If I wanted to push myself, I think I could do 20. The key is if I was doing 20 or, like, it was a contest, I wouldn't use the dipping sauces because I think that makes them heavier. But the dipping sauces are delicious. <laughs> Brandy says, are we having a spring roll eating contest? If so, I have an entry. I don't know. I would never go up against your, uh, Brian, Brandy. Brian would, uh, I'm pretty sure, destroy me. Well, we've passed the five-minute mark. I'm going to say, when I walked on, I thought this. I'm going to say this is a 14-minute wait. Let's see if I'm right. What time did I say it was when we started this? Were we at 84? Hey, watch it. Thanks for watching, you're on camera. Where are you guys from? Nice, yeah, Fredericksburg. I know where that is. It used to be part of my sales territory in Virginia. Yeah. How long are you up here for? How long are you at Disney for? Oh, that's awesome. Having a good week so far? Yeah. It's got great weather. Just like a little sprinkle of rain today, that was no big deal. Well, anyone you wanna give a shout out to? We're live right now. You good? Yeah. Shout out to Fredericksburg, Virginia though. Yeah. I love it. Let's see, where was I? I mean, I would do an eating contest, but Brian would beat me in the spring roll contest. Rebecca, this sounds like a good live stream idea. Maybe a short. I don't know. I, I would want to, if it was a contest, I would want to be uh, off camera afterwards just in case. Because I'm very competitive. And I love spring rolls. And I could eat. Brandy x Brian, how many Magic Kingdom spring rolls could you eat? And Brian said all of them. <laughs> That's amazing. We, I mean, I think between Brian and me, and I'd say maybe one other person, we could clear the whole rack easily. That is true. Uh, Dawn says, I, I believe it. <laughs> I saw the solo sushi boat feet. For those who don't know, we had, uh, I think it was one of our last events. We did Cheeky Sai, and Brian got the sushi boat to himself and did some good work. Good work on that. I shared a sushi boat. I mean, I I probably could do that alone, too, but I, not just for fun. And Brian just put it back with no problem. It was impressive. What's up, Bill Gamore? Yeah, you can smell the pirate water already. For those who don't know what that smell is, uh, Disney uses borine instead of chlorine. Chlorine uh, is a little bit harsher, so to take the color off the boats, they use it on Splash Mountain and Pirates. So they use a different kind of chemical. It's called borine, and it preserves the paint on the boats a little bit longer. <laughs> Brandy's saying... Uh, Looking at her credit card statement. Oh, wow, you spent $1,000? Did you go to Victorian Alberts? And it's like, no, Brian just had all the spring rolls. <laughs> it would be hard to spend $1,000 on spring rolls. It would, it would be a lot of spring rolls. Dilo says, everybody watching, share and like the stream. Thanks so much, Dilo. David Lung, what's up? Seabot Co. Joey in the house. What's up? Just mousing around. Um, I should say really quick, I know uh, we, we've, we're very lucky. We've been getting a lot of new people into uh, the chat, into the Discord, um, and it's amazing, and I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But if for any reason anyone reaches out and asks for any personal information, never give it to them. I know someone reached out to me the other day and said uh, another viewer was asking for like their email address and name. Uh, you don't have to give any information to anyone. If anyone claims to be me, it's not. I would never ask anyone for any personal information. So just be careful. We try to keep it pretty closely monitored, and it's normally really good all the time. But just a quick uh, public service announcement. Thank you. 
So we got on the line at 84 minutes into the stream. We're to now 94 minutes. So we've been in line for 10 minutes. Let's see. It looks like it's going to be a 15-minute wait, which isn't bad at all. But the, the sign did say five, but it's give or take. I bet you it definitely has changed at this point. Plus, this is a really fun queue. There's a lot to see and do, especially if you're like a little kid that likes looking around, exploring. Or a big kid like me who likes looking around and exploring. The only thing about this ride is there might be one spot where we lose service for a half second. Sometimes we get through no issues. If for any reason we lose service on the ride, please just hit refresh. We're not going anywhere. We're sticking around. What's going on? Green Bean Gaming in the house. Thanks for uh, shouting out my hometown. Of course. Shout out to Fredericksburg, Virginia. But there is also a Fredericksburg, Texas. So to all the Fredericksburgs, thanks for being here. Rebecca, doing the math, $1,000 is 210 spring rolls. I don't know. I, I, I think that's a safe line for Brian, to be honest. I don't think he can do more than that. But I also don't want to see him try. That's not including tax. All right, so if we factor in tax, we'll say roughly, we'll say 200 spring rolls. That was going to be my guess earlier, but I didn't want to get it wrong. I got a reputation to maintain here. During the Halloween events, and it's changed over the years, but they used to have uh, Gunpowder Pete uh, on the ride and on other wandering cast member pirates. And one of the spots was right here where they would talk to you in line and come up to the gate and ask for help and just kind of pace back and forth and use the other window down the other side. I, should, I say window, but the <laughs> behind prison bar look. I love those like improvisational actors. It's kind of like my favorite thing. That's why I love Streetmosphere. When a cast member can come up and talk to you in character and you have a good time, what's better than that? No discounts on the spring rolls because they're a snack. If anyone hasn't hit that like button, you still do so. Be a big help. And definitely subscribe. I was telling everybody earlier as we were walking in, we're trying to get to 10,000 as fast as possible. So first when we hit 9,000, which we are approaching, we're going to do a nine-hour stream nonstop. But then when we hit 10,000, we are doing a 24-hour live stream broken up into a few pieces because YouTube won't let you go 24 hours. But we're going to go nonstop. There won't be any sleeping or like, hey, like let's just put the camera down and walk away. We're going to be doing all parts of Disney showing you all the things around the clock for 24 hours as soon as we hit 10,000. So let's make it happen. Even if we get to like 9.99, I'll start it. I'll do it then so we get the 10,000 during the stream. So uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share it with your friends and family. If anyone likes adventures, you know we do a lot of theme parks, a lot of Disney, obviously everybody loves Disney. But we also do Universal, SeaWorld, other fun happenings and events and, you know, one-off places and things to do here in Orlando. But also, I'm back in New York a lot. Summer's coming up. We got a lot of traveling. We'll be in New York. I'm gonna, I might be going out to Washington State. Uh, usually, every summer, we make a drive up to New York with a few stops. So we, we do a little road trip action. And uh, I like to show videos from all my trips. I just dropped a tra our trip from Kansas. I just dropped last week, if you missed that. It was a little behind. <laughs> You'll see some of the things in the video uh, were taking place in October. Editing the long videos takes time. That's why we go live a lot. There's no editing and you get to see it in real time. Dilo says, I miss the citizens of Hollywood so much. Me too. That was one of my favorite things at Disney. Oh, thanks, Dilo. This piece very informative too, so please subscribe. Hey, I try to drop my fun facts when I can. Was I right about the put through? Is it 3,500 on this ride? I think it's 3,500 people an hour. We are approaching the 15 minute mark of our wait. For those who are curious how long the wait is when you see the line the way it was when we got in line. 
got a nice fireplace here, some Minute Maid lemonade. There is a garbage approximately every 30 steps, and so I see some, you know, receipts on the floor, little cups. If you can, hold on to those things. There's usually a trash can right around the corner. Just keep the Magic Kingdom and all the Disney parks nice and clean. Some hardworking cast members got to do it. So this is the other spot where the, uh, that wandering pirate is during the event sometimes. We're making the turn in. So they said the app just jumped to 30 minutes. There you go, yeah. Makes sense. We're at 15 and a half minutes now. <laughs> it's five minutes carny time. That's terrible, Brandy. But I guess it's true. Sad but true. We're trying to get a little better every day. Today, I was here on time. I was actually like here, here. But I was trying to figure out if the rain was going to stop or not. But that's very funny. And I'm all caught up in the chat, so if I missed you or you want to shout out or if you have a question or a comment, say hi in the chat. I'll give you some love. If you're just joining, we just watched Happily Ever After, some of the best fireworks, and one of the best fireworks shows you will see, if not the best in all of Florida. I think it's the best. Oh, anything I've ever seen. But go back and Hang out with us now live and watch the replay later. Watch it tomorrow or go watch some old streams. I like Izzo. How's it going? I like, I uh, said at the end of their sign off the other day, hey, if you want, go back, check out some old videos on the channel. I like watching, I like when people watch the old stuff. You can compare if we've gotten better or worse too. <laughs> and uh, I said, leave a comment so I know you watched. I, mean, I saw Izzo went back, watched some stuff from earlier this year, like, uh, well, last year, September, last summer. Thanks, Izzo. It's also Izzo's birthday, so happy birthday, Izzo. Let's see. Shelly says, I looked it up. It's 3,400 people an hour. Not fire. Everyone ran to Pirates with Fireworks because it said five minutes on the app. Yeah, you're right. After Fireworks, all the lines creep up fast. I'm just surprised they didn't have it at like 10 or 15 right away. Look at that. Google says more than 3,400 people an hour when everything's going smoothly. See, look at that. You know, I try to bring you as much fun facts as I can. I, I'm nailing the counts. I don't know if it's safe to have all these explosives sitting right here. All right, one more turn and we're getting on a boat. I guess it'll be 20 minutes. Let's see, if we get on in the next two minutes and 20 seconds, it'll be a 20 minute wait, which wasn't bad. We had a nice little 20 minute chat. And 20 minutes is my threshold for live streams. If you're new to the channel, we try not to get on any ride that has more than a 20 minute wait because it's boring to wait in line. And I want to bring you the best stuff I can. That's why a lot of the time we use lightning lanes. But this was nice to catch up with the chat, say hi. Give everyone a good amount of time to check all the social out and the Discord and the website. Again, even if you're not coming to the meetup, but I still think you should go check out the our, our schedule. Try not to talk too much without anyone else. Like I said earlier, too, uh, once we're on the attraction. There's one spot that gives us a little bit of trouble with service. Not always. Sometimes we get a full ride. But if for any reason we get a little... They do load both sides. That's why that boat passed us. That's why you get a lot of people on this ride. And he says, what's everyone's favorite pirate on the ride? Mine might be the leg guy. <laughs> well, gunpowder beat during the holidays, because I am baby powder beat. See you later. We left Fredericksburg. <laughs> that was fun. All right, here we go. Enjoy Pirates of the Caribbean.
Oh, I do. See the skull? There's a skull right there made out of the rocks. I'm going to turn. It's just regular rock formation. In case you are not aware, there's a bit of a drop here. There's also a picture, so do something crazy. Everyone smile. Into the unknown, into the unknown. Going down. Oh, we just got soaked. Cannonball right next to the boat. You ever notice the clouds moving with the moon over there? Oh, we are getting drenched. The gimbal is wet. Strong cannonballs tonight. This might be one of my favorite guys, too. Never speaks. Good friend. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> oh. Captain Depp. Watch out for bullets. Ten. I feel like that's like uh Cardio day. So again, little things. Look at the clouds on the ceiling. So great. You smell the fire.
I do like the hat guy too. This one's a classic though. Quite the hem. Here's Brandy's guy. He used to have a scarf hanging from his toe when people used to grab it. But look at those dirty feet. The Whistling Pirate's great too. David D is in the boat behind me. What's up, David? How awesome. <laughs> me. Arf, arf. T list says, I love all the rides with all the animatronics. I agree. So many amazing animatronics on that ride. We Going through that ride, there are so many iconic pirates. We really need to do like a March Madness for pirates on this ride. I'm going to have to set it up. Dilo says, that was cool. I got to remember that about the skull and the rock. Yeah, when you're entering that first scene, the rock formation looks like a skull when you're approaching it. And then as you turn, it's just a bunch of different rocks in different piles. But it's a skull. Fun little use of uh, forest perspective there. So much cool memorabilia and fun things in this shop. Like the map being held up by the knives. There's also a restroom over here for those who are looking for a restroom after the ride or if you're in the area. <laughs> I'm just the right amount of wrong. Restrooms are right here, and there's several registers. There's one here, there's one over there, and there's one over there. You get some water, we got some pressed pennies. The 2024 Medallion Collector book. That's fun. Yeah, some great restrooms over here. If also, if you ever do the scavenger hunt here in Adventureland. Oh, hi, everyone. Hey, David, what's up? Good to see you. Same here. I love it. Everyone's David from the chat. How was Pirates? Hi, how's it going? Hi. Good times. A nice day today. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, that's amazing. Tonight's the night. And great weather today. You've got great weather. Yeah, it's been so good. That's awesome. Glad I got to say hi to you guys. Have fun tonight. Yeah, you're on YouTube. You're famous. <laughs> hey, hi, D-Lo. I love it. D-Lo's awesome. Well, enjoy the rest of the night. I'm glad you came up and said hi. Cheers. Yeah, if you're ever here, come up and say, I love putting uh, some faces to names, names to faces. Oh, like I was saying, so if you're doing the scavenger hunt, I'll show you where you can do it. It's during the day only, but there's a lot of cool interactive things that happen right here. Some cool interactive things that happen inside of this cabinet in here, as well as all throughout Adventureland. So if you want to do that scavenger hunt, we did a few of them. I think they have six different ones you can do. They take, I don't know, like 20 minutes to an hour, depending how aggressive you are and how well you know the land, but it's right here. A pirate's adventure, treasures of the seven seas. And that happens, I believe it's from 12 to six, but I think the hours are over here. Let's go take a look, see if I remember correctly. It is operating hours, 12 to six. So you come in this way, you go through the door. There's a cast member inside. They'll give you one of the six different scavenger hunts and it takes place all throughout Adventureland. And a lot of fun effects and cool little things and you get a little souvenir at the end i totally recommend it's free it's a fun thing to do 
Uh, it will take you away from doing other rides and attractions. But if you're looking to mix up your trip or you come pretty often or you're doing multiple days here, it's pretty neat. Golden Oak Outpost. I have a feeling this is going to be uh, changing it up soon once Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens this summer, which is crazy. I think this will be opening in August. That is my guess. You can see they put some new, since we've been here last, they put up some new, uh, some new things on the walls. They have this giant sign here that says, come join the party. Tiana's Bayou Adventure coming summer 2024. So, I mean, they are hard, putting themselves against the wall here. So hard finish summer of this year. Louie is on his way to the party. Don't forget, book your bands for the Mardi Gras season. We had an awesome Mardi Gras stream with Captain and Lady Kirk are here in the chat. We got to see the Kirk clan. We had an awesome day of Mardi Gras for, on a, uh, go check out those streams over at Port Orleans. We also did Mardi Gras at Universal. We'll be back again. We love Mardi Gras season at Universal. And you can see the progress. Plus a cool shot of the moon right there. Coming soon. They were testing the boats the other day. Look at this cooler. You can bring in coolers. Did you know you could bring a cooler into the park? No alcoholic beverages, but you can bring in your own coolers if you want to save some money. It is full of water. You see the water? Ride testing in effect. I'm pumped. I'm excited. They didn't change the track layout, but the rest of the ride will be changed. You'll head into the bayou. I'm excited. Splash Mountain was my favorite, but the parks must always be evolving. They will never be complete, as Walt said himself. Uh, the Magic Kingdom. I mean, I love it here. I was going to say, like, at night it's so magical, but even during the day it's magical. Like, there's just, it's always magical, but... Mixing up our live stream times and the different times we're here. It's cool coming in at night. It's been a while since we've been here with the sun down. I wonder if they do a sundown hoedown. They do have impromptu uh, hoedowns right here outside of the old Country Bear Jamboree. The new Country Bear Jamboree coming later this year. Currently down there fixing, refurbing, upgrading a lot of the animatronics and a whole new song soundtrack for the Country Bear Jamboree. Again, we're staying optimistic. Big Al's right over here. And also, I got to say, that little shop across from Paco Bills, shout out to Robert D. Uh, so generous. Last time we were here, went and got us some bacon. Oh my gosh, that bacon was fantastic. Bam, 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 bam. Thanks for sticking and uh, sticking around and hanging out with me. I know it's a little late, especially if you are in Europe or on the East Coast. And shout out to everyone everywhere watching, not just the United States. You know, the United States only makes up about 84% of our viewership. So shout out to all the other countries hanging out. Say hi in the chat. And shout out to the people in Guam supporting our channel sponsor, SJG3 Collectibles. I love it. Wow, the Frontier Shooting Arcade is pretty busy right now. Diamond Horseshoe looks like it's closed. Interesting. Um, this is also the parade route, so if you've never been here or if you're trying to plan for a trip, the parade starts right next to the Tiana's Bayou Adventure. It comes right through here, right the route we just took, and then makes a right, right at these flags, and heads towards Main Street USA. We'll take the same way. We're now in Liberty Square, you could tell, because one, this different colored pavement, including the brown streak down the middle. I think everyone knows what that is. If not, I'll let you look it up. But very heavily themed, and there's no restrooms in Liberty Square because there was no restrooms or indoor plumbing at the time that this land that we're in. They had no indoor plumbing. 
but there's some hacks. So if you go just outside to the left right there, there's a big bathrooms. And if you go underneath the seating area uh, on your way to the Haunted Mansion, there's bathrooms there as well in Fantasyland. Still close. Sorry. You got the flags from the original colonies here. The Liberty Bell, fun fact about this Liberty Bell, it was made in the same place the actual Liberty Bell was cast, but this was the last cast they made before the factory caught fire and never reopened. So this is the last cast of the Liberty Bell right here at the Magic Kingdom. It's actually got a few really cool things like that. Besides the Liberty Bell, the seal of the President of the United States is only allowed in three places. One is in the Oval Office, one is in Philadelphia, and the other seal is right inside the Hall of Presidents, in case you did not know. You could head on in. They're running shows today from 8 to 10. And the seal of the Presidents of the United States right here. One of the only three seals. There you go. We haven't done Hall of Presidents in a while. We're not going to do it tonight. We obviously don't do it because we don't like talking politics here. Every, we like everybody getting along, having a good time. I think we all could agree. Let's just be kind to one another. Let's think about our future while taking care of each other now. Spread love, spread kindness. That's what I say. Uh, also, you'll notice the lanterns hanging from the tree here. There's 13 lanterns to represent the 13 original colonies. Also, this tree has a lot of significance for the Disney company. This is the logo that you'll see for the Disney horticulture team, which right now you're seeing a lot of them over at Epcot because it's the Flower and Garden Festival. But if you ever see on the sides of the trucks or the vans or the push carts or anything involving the Disney horticulture team, the people who take care of all the landscaping around property, including Flower and Garden, this tree is their logo. And this tree is several hundred years old. It uh, was actually grown here in Florida, a few miles away. They actually had to uh, dig it out, dig all the roots, go down pretty far, get a crane to lift it up. It was so heavy and then place it here at the Magic Kingdom. Let's see what else I'm missing. There's a plaque here. I'm going off of memory right now. And this plaque is extremely hard to read at night. So we'll read that the next time we're here. But those are the cliff notes for you in case you wanted to know the cliff notes. Another one of my favorite spots here, the rocking chairs, right next to Hall of Presidents. Just hang out in the shade in the rocking chair. What's better than that? Great seeing David. Again, if you're ever in the parks, come up and say hi, don't be shy. Yeah, uh, VH, I don't always know how to say Vilgamore, I, I'm calling you, but VH Gilmore says the animatronic on the hunts are well thought out. I agree. I think it's very neat that scavenger hunt in Adventureland. We're making our way back towards Main Street. Jacob Herring, what's up? Great to see you. Jacob says, where is Daniel tonight? I'm assuming back at his house. He lives uh, about two hours away. So for anyone who also supports Daniel, the Tomorrowland Traveler, he's got another great YouTube channel if you enjoy live streams from Disney and lots of fun shorts. Uh, we're trying to help him grow his channel. He's been instrumental in the growth of our channel. But whenever he comes to live stream at the parks, remember, he's making a two-hour ride here and usually a two-hour ride back home and working the next day. So the man is a beast. Captain Kirk says, great fact. Dilo says, watchers, if you want facts and information, please subscribe. I agree. <laughs> and look at much different scene from just an hour ago. You couldn't even plant two feet in this area during fireworks. And you can see that line. Uh, I know Rebecca, I think it was Rebecca asking earlier about Tink. There's the Tink Line, which runs, and they land right over on the top of the Tomorrowland Terrace. 
And I'm not sure if they still do this. It might be a net now, but they used to have a mattress actually to slow them down and stop. But Tink, a big highlight of the nighttime fireworks. And also now that it's been a certain amount of time before and after fireworks, uh, they do close behind the castle during fireworks because in case any fireworks that get shot remotely from the roofs of the castle land on the ground. They have sprinklers on the top of the roofs that are working. And also there's moisture on the ground behind the castle so that way all those fireworks go out. And then about 15 minutes after fireworks, they'll reopen the front of the castle and behind the castle. 15, 20 minutes or so. So don't try to get through the castle or around it or behind it about 30 minutes before fireworks. Let's just say 30 minutes before and after. I wouldn't plan on that. It's usually closed. There's the first and iconic Walt statue, the partner statue. There is a new Walt statue over at Epcot. It's, it's cool. I like more Walt statues, the better. It's called the Dreamer statue. But I don't know if I'm, a, I'm in love with the spot they put it in, but it's not bad. It's fun. It's cool. Although the pictures at night are hilarious. Daniel just sent us our picture. I put in the Discord of me, him, <laughs> uh, when we took a picture at night. And, uh, and I think Ryan was there with us. And it's completely dark. <laughs> you can't see us at all. You can't see Walt. You barely get like the shine on Walt's face from the flash. So they got to work on that a little bit with some lighting. But I love the Walt statues because there's a generation now that doesn't know Walt Disney was a real person. He was real. Another fun fact, in case you didn't know, Walt Disney died in 1966. This park opened in 1971. So five years after Walt Disney's death, this park opened. Roy was supposed to retire, his brother, kind of his partner in crime. Roy was the money guy, Disney the creative. Let's just do this, do that. Roy made it happen. So Roy was set to retire, but Roy did not retire, wanted to stay on uh, to run the company until they opened what was supposed to be called Disney World because he had Disneyland on the West Coast. But then Roy changed it to Walt Disney World after his brother passed. And then Roy stayed on with the company. This opened October 1st, 1971. Sadly, just a few months later after the opening, Roy would pass away. I think it was about three months later. I think it was December of 71. Uh, and then the company really was like, now what do we do? Epcot was in the works still. This place had just opened. But Walt had such extreme plans. That they knew what they were doing here years in advance. Even though Walt died in 66, you think, wow, five years before the park opened. Like, what? how do they plan this? Well, everything was pretty much planned and set, and they knew what they were doing here for that opening day. However, the next phases and construction phases and rides they were going to add, like over here, they weren't going to do pirates because they had it on the West Coast. But everybody was demanding pirates, so they brought pirates out here, but it was not here on opening day. I got useless facts for days. <laughs> uh, I love Main Street at night. You know what we're going to look at tonight on the way out? The merch is probably a little crowded because it's the end of the night. A lot of people are going to buy their merch. But let's, if we haven't done this on a stream in a while. The windows of Main Street USA are awesome. And they do change throughout the year, depending on the holidays, the occasions. So these windows, just showing off some of the merch that is featured right now. You got some of that Asha and uh, merch from Wish. Disney's uh, one of the latest animated feature films. The windows up top are really neat. All those names are uh, different Disney Imagineers and people from the Disney company who made a major impact, like Dick Nunes, Ron Miller. The Walt Disney name is actually on the ice cream shop facing the castle. He's the very last name. He gets a view of the castle and the fireworks every night. And the first name you see is Roy, because there's supposed to be like credits where you see the producer's name first, and then it works its way to the director, which is Walt Disney. Ooh, that AC feels good. But I'm gonna show you the other Disney windows, which are down after this little gap past the uh, citizen clock. Think about, this is runs with air conditioning with these doors open all day, all night long. <laughs> the electricity bill, and yet two parks run on solar, fun. <laughs> so not these windows either. You gotta get down to the actual Emporium, even though the Emporium runs the whole right side of the street. Another fun fact, a lot of people know that Disney uh, World has a lot of forced perspective where uh, things look taller than they appear, sometimes even smaller. But they use it horizontally, not just vertically, where if you walk out of the Magic Kingdom, it seems like a shorter walk to the exit. So you're tired at the end of the day, you're exhausted. It seems like, okay, it's not that far, we can make it. 
and it's flip-flopped, where when you're walking in, they want to make it look like a nice long walk. Like you got this long walk to the castle. When you're starting your day, you have all that energy and it's beautiful. And then when you're leaving, they make it seem more doable to leave, a shorter walk. At least it looks that way. But these are the windows I'm talking about. Here at the Emporium, here's Pocahontas. A little fire, a little, what, a little mosquito there? Oh, the boats are rocking. There's me and Bill's favorite. Over here we got Aladdin, Aladdin. If you like streams like this, please hit that like button. It really helps. Over here, Beauty and the Beast. And then if you turn the corner, they don't stop there. There you go. Happy birthday. If you head towards the barber shop, there's a few more. We got the Little Mermaid over here. People having a good time, partying. Flounder, Sebastian, all having a good time. There's Ariel. Under the sea. Uh, Cinderella, her castle right here at the Magic Kingdom. The face he's making is just amazing. He's got to put the monocle on. What is happening here? And Snow White. Some say the feature film that started it all for the Disney company. Walt gambled it all on this movie. Oh, hey, Snow. I love the chairs moving. Dopey's dancing. And a little egg hatching. Colleen says, these remind me of the old school Disney stories, for sure. Kevin Sparrow in the house. What's up, Kevin? Allison's still here hanging. Thanks, Allison. Brandy says, did anyone see Wish? I did not. I haven't seen it yet either. I got I got to catch up. I just saw Elemental. Yeah, David says, the hub's usually jammed for about 30 minutes before and after happily. Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't recommend going near the hub 30 minutes before or after. Barbershop's closed for the night, but they do cut hair here. I still, I still want to do a stream of me getting my hair cut here. We got to do it one day. But you got to get here early to sign up. They close the firehouse, but normally the firehouse is open. You can go in. For those who have heard the rumor about the apartment above the firehouse, that's referring to Disneyland on the West Coast. Here, not so much, but it looks like it, where Walt had an actual apartment above the firehouse out in Disneyland. I did the Walking in Walt's Footsteps tour years ago, and I got to go tour it up there. It's super neat. And while they have changed the furniture out, it matches the style that they did have. So it's not the original furniture or cups per se and, and props in the room now, but it is a, as close to the original as they could be. Here we have City Hall. City Hall acts as your guest relations for the park. So if you have any issues you gotta work out, you can go there. Or if it's just like something with like a My Disney Experience app or something you gotta get fixed like that, you can just go to any blue umbrella. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Every day, it's usually at 5 p.m. They do the flag ceremony here. It is very nice, very moving. They have Disney security and members of the armed forces come out, lower the flag. Uh, it's, it's just very touching. I love it. It means a lot to me. My father's a veteran, uh, or was a veteran, but in my heart, still a veteran. And it's a very touching ceremony. I just went to uh, my buddy's grandfather's wake, who was, uh, you know, flew F-14s. He just passed away, he was 94 this past weekend, so I went to the wake while I was in New York. They're just very moving stuff. I love all those military things. Thank you to everybody out there who is either in the military or as uh, family members of military, making that sacrifice for all of us to enjoy beautiful nights like this, the Magic Kingdom. The Dapper Dance come out and sing, it's very beautiful. And then they randomly uh, pick a veteran in the park uh, to receive the flag and walk down Main Street with the flag after the ceremony. So very touching. Let's head out to the front. 
We're still going to be live for a few more minutes, but uh, again, just want to thank everyone for hanging out with me. If you haven't hit the like button yet, you can still do so. If you haven't subscribed, give it a shot. Give us a chance. We're trying to get to 10K. We're going to do a 24-hour live stream. I got a bunch of people who have said they're going to come do it with me or signing up for it. I didn't know there was this much excitement about staying awake for 24 hours, but we're going to have the best time. We're, we just got to hit 10,000 subscribers. We're so close. And we're even closer to 9,000. We're about to hit nine. For that, we're going to do nine hours. Nine hours for 9,000, and then 24 hours for 10,000. You can also follow the socials. My Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. The TikToks Adventures by Carney. Our Discord is Adventures by Carney. The website is adventuresbycarney.fun. You can get your merch on there. Find out about our meetup in April. It's during the Run Disney weekend. It is free. We'd love to have you. If you're in town as a local, come hang out. If you're here on vacation, we'd love to see you too. Here pulling in Monorail Green. It's on the express line today. So the monorail's heading to the right into the Magic Kingdom Station or on the express line. They just go right from here to the TTC and back. That's the Transportation and Ticket Center. The monorails on the other line, which would be on the, the one behind this one, are on the local line. These go to the left, and they stop at the Contemporary, the TTC, the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, and back to the Magic Kingdom. Monorails typically run, uh, I believe, an hour before, an hour after park hours, I think. I think buses are 90 minutes before and after. I think the boats and monorails are an hour and buses are an hour and a half. I could be wrong, but I think. If you are on vacation, I tell everyone if you could do it, I'm not, I'm not a morning person either, but if you're here at Disney and you're buying these expensive tickets, is get to the park an hour before the post of time that it opens. The parks do open early. Now you may not be able to get onto the rides, but you can get into the park. You can take your pictures. You can get your coffee or tea or breakfast. You can get some souvenir shopping done. You can get a lot of different funny pictures in funny different areas or group shots. And then walk to that rope where you want to head to your first ride and literally rope drop. That's why they call it rope drop. The cast members will guide everyone with the rope and then take the rope down when you get to that first attraction you want to go to and uh, right at that opening time so let's say it's 8 30 the park opens get to the park at 7 30 take all your pictures get all everything done you got to get done also you have to factor in transportation time parking time walking give yourself an hour you will thank me you'll get more done in that first hour than the next four hours combined <laughs> you could probably run and get a quick two or three rides done just in that first hour then I tell people if you want to need a midday break because I always say check out the fireworks and stay till the park closes as well is go early you can always take a midday nap go back to your hotel or resort if you can push all the way through good for you me and Lauren used to do that when we come for our quick two-day trips pushing all the way through for four, you know four or five days four, four, four or five six days is tough but building that midday nap go back to your resort and take a nap go in the pool relax have some food and then head back to the parks in the afternoon and close out the night with some fireworks. Or if you're at the Animal Kingdom, you could park out to another park because that closes at eight. Or just make that an early night if you're doing a single day per park ticket. Definitely start Animal Kingdom early because it closes early. And then you can always go to bed early that night, wake up the next day for another park. There's space. I'm gonna go walk over, and I'm gonna stay live for this, over to Bay Lake Tower and the Contemporary because for our meetup, we're doing a fireworks cruise out of the Contemporary. We have two boats. I'm pretty sure they're almost full. We might have room for one or two people, but we can always get another one. So that's why you let us know if you're coming. We'd love to see you. Lots of fun events during our meetup. But, um, and all that information is at adventuresbycarney.fun and also in our Discord, which are linked down below in the description and here in the chat. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little family barbecue at the Contemporary Bay Lake Tower before our boat cruise. So even if you don't come on the fireworks cruise, you can, Come hang out with us, have a little barbecue at Bay Lake Tower of the Contemporary. I'm gonna go look for the grills now. Bay Lake Bowlers reunion, we should do that. <laughs> for those that don't know to get that reference uh, that David Lung just dropped during the pandemic, try to get back in shape. I wanna get some basketball games going when we were coming out of the pandemic. So I found a bunch of cast members and other locals and uh, we started playing basketball at the basketball court at Bay Lake every week we'd have a game every single week and it started with just three guys 
and then it grew to uh, 10, 15, 20 people <laughs> during the, every week. We play five on five games. It was a lot of fun. And then, you know, as work picked up and the world returned to normal, people had to go back to work and it kind of fizzled out. But it was a really fun, like, I think we had like a nice six month, seven month run. I'd love to get that back or even some pickleball games. So if anyone's ever in town and wants to play some basketball or pickleball, I could use the exercise. It'll probably be better than me, but let's do it. Maybe we'll have a little basketball or pickleball session during the meetup. We'll see if I can squeeze it in. I do want to, I think we're putting foot golf on the schedule. I think we're doing foot golf uh, and mini golf or one of one or the other. Definitely doing mini golf. We do mini golf every meetup to claim the trophy. Friggin' Boston Drew still holds the trophy. We're going to try and get it from him. He'll be here for the meetup, bringing the trophy back. So come play some mini golf with us. But also I'm trying to get a foot golf session because everyone saw our foot golf stream. If you missed it, go back and check it out from uh, last week. And everyone's like, that looks like fun. So we're going to try and get a little foot golf game together during the meetup too. Disney uh, cast member crew, Monique says, that's going to be awesome, Carney. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a good time. Let's see. If you guys have any questions, comments, want to shout out, throw it in the chat. I'm walking over. I'm going to show you. I may as well just stay live, right? We'll hang out and talk. But I'm going to go over to Bay Lake Tower and check out the barbecue grill scene as well as the contemporary. Oh, is this her Uber? That is a illegal but effective pickup spot. If you're looking for Ubers, you technically have to go to the Ticket and Transportation Center. But I say, if you want a little carny hack because you're here with me, don't tell anyone I told you, but just walk to the Contemporary. Order your Uber to the Contemporary. Take this walkway. Just get picked up right over there. Guaranteed faster than taking a boat or a monorail to the TTC, then walking to the Uber pickup, and then <laughs> walking across the street again and then waiting. If you don't mind this walk we're doing now, just order your Uber to the Contemporary. And... Ubers are allowed to come right on in and pick you up over there. Oh, good luck, Monique. Let's see. Uh, Brandy says the, the menu for the barbecue is going to be busting, y'all. We do have some intense barbecue action planned. Normally, I like to grill and barbecue, but I'm going to think I'm going to hand the reins. We got some grillers, some, I don't know, like uh, the proper term, masters, grill masters. Colleen says, thanks for streaming today. Well, thanks you, Colleen. Thanks for dropping the links, too. Trevor says, did your streaming platform let you add a counter, like countdown to 24-hour 10K sub live stream? Uh, I don't think on the live streams like this they do. If I was, uh, if I went through a third-party site, like you see it on other ones, like we love the Pete McDevitt channel. He's another great one where like he's got the countdown on the screen. Um, I mean, again, if I went through a third party, I might be able to. But I don't know. Every time I've tried, it hasn't been either the picture's not great or it drops out or something's weird. So I just like to go directly through YouTube. Uh, I've kind of figured out the secret sauce there. I will eventually have to go to another streaming platform if you want, like, because a lot of people are doing it now, and it does look pretty cool. They have, like, on-screen graphics. They can cut to other clips. They can put on, like, be right back on a commercial break um, while they're going to, like, the restroom or something. So there's a lot of benefits. I'm just going to find one that works. But you can always just check out the site. I think we're uh, right around – we're approaching, I think, 8,500. So we're about 500 subscribers away from 9,000 where we'll do nine hours and then uh, about 1,500 away from 10,000. So, and that can go quick. Some months we get a few hundred in a month. You know, we usually get at least a hundred new subs every month. Some months are 200. Sometimes we get to be more than that. A stream can just get a hundred. I mean, like it really, it's really crazy. It's, it's, it's all over the place, but best thing you could do and you want to help out the channel Hit the like button, be a subscriber yourself, get the bell on, hit all notifications, share it. YouTube loves, uh, we can see how many times it's shared videos. I get a weekly report every week that says how many people liked all the streams, how many people shared all the streams, and how many new subscribers we gained every week and every month. So this is the Bay Lake Tower. Also, after our fireworks cruise, we're going to be doing the Top of the World Lounge. So there's a private lounge on the top of this building where you can only get into if you're a DVC member, and we have a bunch coming to the meetup. 
So if you've never been up there and you want to come up with us, you get, you're allowed to join us. So before the fireworks cruise, the Friday of our meetup, we're doing a barbecue here. Then we go out on our fireworks cruise, launching out of the Contemporary. Then we come back, and afterwards we're doing the Top of the World Lounge. So that's, that's just Friday from 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock. I mean, we're doing an event Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I know there's a few people who are hanging out until Monday. Maybe we'll even do something Monday morning or afternoon. But four days of fun. Just mousing around, so Streamlabs works pretty nicely. Yeah, I've tried it. I, I'll, I'm gonna try to get back into it. Oh, look at that. Brandy says, I see 8.84K, getting so close. There you go, so closer than I thought. We're getting there. I'm excited. I can't wait. I wanna do that 24 hour stream. I'm pumped for it. All right, so here's the Contemporary. There is that walkway on the fourth floor to connect Bay Lake Tower and the Contemporary. But let's go show you Bay Lake Tower. This is the DVC Tower. And it's underneath the sign you'll see a Disney's Contemporary Resort because it is connected to the Contemporary. But this is the Vacation Club where it says, welcome home. Let's check out the activities happening here this month. Every resort has their own activity board like this. Let's see, you can rent some cabanas. They got poolside activities uh, every day at one. The feature pool, Monday and Friday at three. The Magical Mosaics, we did that recently, if you wanna check it out. Uh, you can do a mosaic like Mary Blair. We did the five-legged goat. That's Mondays and Fridays from one to three. The Mickey tie-dye, the campfire from six to seven every night. Beats on the Bay, Monday and Friday at 7.30. Family game night, Wednesdays at 7.30. They got sport courts, basketball, tennis, and pickleball, hence I've used them all. They also do pickleball clinics Wednesday mornings from 9 to 10, so that was this morning. And then movies in the movie courtyard, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You could drop your mail right here. There's a little machine, and I little water bottle refill station. But I'm gonna run into this restroom real quick. So uh, I'll put you guys right here and I'll be back to show you the outside of the Bay Lake Tower. Hit the like button, I'll be right back. Back again. Cardi's back. All right, let's get this off my face. Hi, everyone. We're still live. We're heading outside. We've done this on a few streams uh, a while back in a few little videos, but this area at Bay Lake Tower is awesome. I love what I'll call the backyard. Beautiful water feature here. All these rooms have views of Bay Lake. It's over a thousand years old Bay Lake. Some say it's the lake Disney himself, Walt Disney flew over and said, let's build our parks around this lake. And then they connected the man-made Seven Seas Lagoon to Bay Lake. But on Bay Lake's how you get to Wilderness Lodge, Fort Wilderness. They got some table tennis. 
this awesome seating area. Still keeping with the contemporary vibe. Lots of fun activities out here. You got your chessboard, your Connect Four. Another thing that I love, let's go show you. Your recreation activities also posted out here. They have a running trail, fishing cruises, a fitness center. But how fun is this? You have your own make your own mini golf action and a bocce court. They got the balls and clubs right here. And you can decide from where to where you want to go to which cup and make your own little mini course. And over here, you got a bocce court. You see the balls right there. Super fun. And if the equipment's not out, you could always ask a cast member. Uh, they can help you out with equipment, which I think is what's happening now. A little equipment pickup. Oh, the electrical water pageant's out. I think I hear the music. All right, let's just cut down to the water quick. We'll come back to show you the pool area and everything else, but electrical water pageant, I think is out right over here. I hear the music. Oh, I see it. Make sure there's no gators over here. Do a quick check since I'm standing in this random area. Hey, no gators over here, right? Can I stand over here? Okay. Looks looks okay. We look like we're doing all right. No gators. Okay. I feel like we're safe. Back to the show. Flash off. And I'm not joking, if you do walk off the beaten path in Florida, especially at night, and especially near any body of water, just do a quick gator check. It's a good thing to do. There's over a million gators in the state of Florida, and we are at the headwaters of the Everglades here at Walt Disney World. Brandy, I left that out on purpose. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll check it out, Joey. Oh, we switched over to the American flags. I love it. Shout out from Fredericksburg. A lot of love for Fredericksburg tonight. I love it. Yes, there is a King's Dominion in Fredericksburg. Virginia's got a lot of fun stuff. Bush Gardens, Colonial Williamsburg. America, and it's long. All right, we're gonna come back. We'll show you more of it uh, afterwards. But let me show you more of Bay Lake Tower and do a grill check. Ning, see, because we're gonna walk along the pathway to the contemporary water in a minute. But let me just check over here. So you can see this right here, remain on jogging route. There's a jogging route all the way around the contemporary and Bay Lake Tower. If you're like Andrew, you're a runner. Also, if you want to run with us when it comes on sale, 
I've committed to it. I said I'm gonna do the half marathon in January as part of the Walt Disney World Marathon weekend. If you wanna come do the half marathon with me, the signups doesn't happen. The signups have not happened yet, but they're coming up soon. Ask me how my training's going? Ha <laughs> ha, what's training? No, I'll probably start working on that uh, in the summer. I still got all kinds of fun body and back issues and neck issues. So running is painful, more than just the regular painful that it is on an everyday basis. <laughs> Here's the courtyard for Bay Lake. Over on this side, they have some shuffleboard and some cornhole. So lots of activities. Very nice pool area. And again, you could use the contemporary pool or this pool and they have a splash pad back there for the little ones. Now the jogging route continues that way. But over here, I believe there are grills or, oh wait. So it's not the grills like the poly. There's just this one grill right here, so we won't use this one. But there is a nice picnic area, quiet spot here on the water. So there's two grills, but they're not like grill grills. Three go. All right, so there's one, two, three. We got two picnic tables. We'll check the contemporary. I feel like that might be a better fit for us. But look how beautiful this is. Bay Lake. Over a thousand years old. If that lake could talk. It would probably say, you know, it was a nice, you know, thousand years. And then, you know, about 50 years ago, these folks came in and now we've been busy. In case you were not aware, you do not want to swim in Bay Lake or the Seven Seas Lagoon. Dangerous for many reasons besides the alligators we just talked about, but also there is a uh, bacteria in there. You do not want to get into your pores or your body, it's not good. There's also a pool table here, it's covered up right now, but lots of activities. So we got shuffleboard, cornhole, billiards, table tennis, connect four, a chess board, the make your own mini golf, and the bocce court, all in this little area right here. On top of this pool with that awesome slide you can see right there. And you can see the electrical water pageant making its way towards the Seven Seas Lagoon in front of the Magic Kingdom. I think I'm caught up with the chat. If I missed any of your comments, questions, or if you want to shout out, throw it in there again. I think I'm all caught up. All right, so now we're going to take a little walk from Bay Lake over to the Contemporary. On the ground floor, there is that connecting bridge on the fourth floor. Let's see, I think it's Poseidon. Another fun fact about the contemporary rooms, if you didn't know this, is they actually built the building at the same time they were building all the rooms up the road. And then what they did was they slid the rooms in to the side. Pretty amazing. Prefabbed offsite. But it was very effective. They got it done on time. It was really coming down to the wire. There's a famous uh, story. I think it was George Caligridis tells the story. Uh, former president of Walt Disney World, or was the Magic Kingdom. But anyway, he was one of the presidents or vice presidents. But he talks about how he started here at the Contemporary, um, very low on the totem pole, but opening day, October 1st, 1971, they were still rolling out sod about an hour before guests showed up on the front lawn. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Look how nice the grounds are kept. A little Mickey and flowers there and there. Monorails pulling into the Contemporary. What a wonderful night 
It's beautiful. I gotta get going soon, but I'm gonna go look for these girls and show you the, kind of the backyard of the contemporary as well. So I appreciate you hanging out with me for a little bit. I like these planters. A nice little seating area in the shade over here. It really is peaceful and beautiful, Monique. It's a great walk. No problem, dude. Listen, thanks for showing us this. My pleasure. It's what it's all about. A little impromptu fun bonus uh, time here on the stream. A great photo spot here with Mickey. And what's cool is if you have something you want to rest your phone on, they have this little pedestal right here. So you can put this here like that. And then some checkers over here, some nice seats. down here in the marina area this is where you rent the watercraft you can always just call the number two they have a nice splash pad just outside the pool area right there let's do a check down here see if any of the grills are down here you also have the sand bar you can refill your sodas here or go inside they have a full bar inside get your adult beverages restrooms and locker rooms and lockers are over here as well We'll take the scenic route and get our steps in. Remember the little single watercraft that you just pull in here? Not anymore, no. Not since the pandemic. We were gonna take the uh, the fireworks crews out of the Grand Flow, but the, no boats left for our, that night. So that's why we're over here. So we can get two boats together and possibly add a third if we need to. So again, let us know if you're coming to the meetup. We'd love to meet you. And you don't have to do all the events. You can pick and choose. All right, so some nice picnic tables down here. We got a big site map, a little dark to show you right now, but pool table outside over here, connect four up there, a nice fishing dock to walk down, hang out at. You can see some people down there. Beautiful, beautiful. Got some foosball. They normally have cornhole set up right here, probably taken in already. Nice chairs with the comforter, the nice big cushions. All these tables have umbrellas so for some shade during the day. Very nice. But I'm not seeing any grills over here yet. Wow, we'll keep walking. Nice little, uh, what do we got over here? It's a kiddie pool or just a quiet pool? Looks like a little uh, kiddie pool, a couple cabanas. It's nice. I know the main pool is right here on this side. The sand part of that pool bar is right there. And they got a nice slide in here. It's fun. We did a stream, I don't know, probably about a year ago at this point. But they have beach volleyball. Me and the crew came and played some beach volleyball over here. They got the nice lounge chairs facing the water. Nice, get some shade there as well. What's cool, you see the monorail on the net? How much fun is that volleyball net? I want one. It looks like they uh, classed this up. I don't think there were the cushions on the side of the poles the last time we played. I don't think they were just wearing out that day. But we love us some beach volleyball. I don't see any grills though. We'll keep walking around the perimeter here. Sand, so sorry if I'm walking funky. Some Disney watercraft coming our way for the pickup. You see a boat right there and another boat right there.
What a beautiful night. The rain came and went. Here's kind of that entire back area of the contemporary. And this is also still part of the contemporary as well. So you don't have to necessarily be in the tower. They have this uh, extension they put on and it's also very nice. Nice little three story extension that goes along the water. I don't know, we might have to either do our barbecue on the nice grills at the Poly and then monorail over here, Brandy, or use those three small grills at Bay Lake Tower. I don't see any of the grills over here, but we'll keep walking. Never say never. Another entrance to the pool. You see the running trail sign right there. Let's see if I can find that map to see how long this running loop is. We'll also be supporting all those running. So if you're uh, coming to the meetup or not, or if you're in town and you're running, uh, it's the springtime surprise run weekend, same weekend as our meetup. Let us know. We're going to go to the finish line to support people. Uh, probably not Saturday morning. We're going to have a late night Friday night. But Sunday morning, we will be at the finish line. I've committed to waking up early. And then I think we're going to build in a nap and shower time for everybody and then meet back up around, I don't know, 12-1. I know a lot of us Sunday morning are going to go support older runners finishing up their half marathon. So yeah, I don't see any grills back here, Brandy. I think we might have to make it Bay Lake or Polly. The Polly's got the nicer grills. Bay Lake, closer in proximity. What should we do? And for those who really want to make it crazy, we were talking about doing a quick one lap monorail bar crawl <laughs> before the barbecue, possibly. But yeah, we're thinking about starting the barbecue at five o'clock. Uh, Friday of the meetup, and then our fireworks cruise is at 7 or 7.30. Then when that comes back in, we'll do the top of the world right there. If you want to head to the main lobby, you're going right this way. Right at this way. <laughs> yeah, no grills. But here, we're back at that picture spot if you want to reference. More chairs. Mickey Flowers. Well, if you haven't hit the like button yet, you gotta totally do it now. Please, please, please. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Like I said, we got a lot of fun stuff coming up. The channel is just getting better and better every day. We're growing. We got a lot of fun ideas coming your way. Big shout out to all the Patreons. You guys are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To find out more about the Patreon program, you go to patreon.com, search, search Adventures by Carney, or just go to patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney, or use the link down below in the description. Also, we have an amazing Discord, over 300 people that are kind, nice, genuine, authentically, just good to the core people. I don't know how we've made it happen, but every person that comes in has been fantastic. So go check out our Discord, that's free. You can use your phone or computer. They, as long as you remember your username and password, you can use both interchangeably. Uh, we have tips and tricks in there. We have our general discussion. We have theme park uh, ideas. We have live stream ideas. We have edited video ideas. Uh, Lauren's book club is in there. We got a sports channel. We got a beer, brewery, and bourbon talk channel. Lots of fun stuff, so go check it out. My Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. My TikTok is Adventures by Carney. The Discord is Adventures by Carney, like I said. Our website, adventuresbycarney.fun. Here, by the way, I wonder if they tell you how long the jogging, oh, there it is, jogging trail, 0.89 miles. So just about a mile. That's perfect for me. So let's see, if we start the running trail here, you cut down this way. You run this loop. Do, 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 do. Come back across this way. Cut down. Do, 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 do. Which we walked all this, the Bay Cove pool. Go back up to the tennis courts, come across, and boom, back. It seems like a lot for just 0.89. Jeez. But yeah, so the grills were over here. I didn't see any grills over here. But we just, if you want to know the walk we just did, we came in the front desk. We walked through the back. We did the Cove pool this way and back. We watched the um water pageant from right here then we went up here walked down through here over here down we walked across this way 
went by the sand pool. Uh, this went by through the sand over here. Went over here, showed you these buildings, the garden wing. Went back up, came back, and back over to here. All after Magic Kingdom. What else did I miss? We have merch on the website. The website's awesome. Adventuresbycarney.fun, not .com, .fun. Although, big shout out to Robert and Bill uh, for recently purchasing adventuresbycarney.com. So, we'll, we'll link those up soon. But I still love that we have adventuresbycarney.fun. So, so cool. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. What else am I missing? Come to the meetup. Get yourself some merch. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Follow the socials. Jump on the Discord. You know all the fun stuff. And, uh, of course, check out our sponsor, SJG3 Collectibles. You can search them in the eBay stores. Or just go to ebay.com backslash str backslash sjg3 collectibles. Collectibles for everybody. Over 900 items listed there right now. New items added every day. As little as three bucks up to several hundred. And if he doesn't have what you want, shoot Vince a me an email. He's also in the Discord. He's a Patreon member. So you are really supporting someone who supports the channel. And thanks to everybody who shared, liked, and hung out with me today. If you missed yesterday's stream, go check it out. We went over to Disney's Art of Animation. And yeah, lots more coming your way. So make sure that bell is on. You hit all notifications. I wish you all a fantastic Thursday. I got to wake up tomorrow at 545. So uh, I guess I should head home soon. All right, everyone. I love you. Thank you for being here. If I could ask you one last favor. I know I've asked a lot. But it's please just be kind to one another. Uh, I think if everyone does their best... To just realize that everybody's got a story. Everybody's going through something. Take that into consideration. Be kind. Let's change the world. All right. I love you. See you later. Have a great night. Listen for the water pageant. All right. To so go back to the Magic Kingdom or not go back to the Magic Kingdom. That is the question. Have a great night, Joey, Brandy, Shelly, Captain Kirk and the Kirk crew. Happy birthday, Izzo. Captain Kirk says, thanks for the extra bonus time of the contemporary and the great stream tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Colleen, for putting the links up. Good night, Monique. Good night, D'Lo. See you later, David Long. All right, I gotta go. Good night, everyone. See you real soon. Bye-bye.